From the theoretical point of view and uh, spin fluctuation theories, if you consider a cool dot like barium potassium sample, uh, one expects it to be more isotropic than electron dot because there is an additional Fermi bundle which makes the gap more isotropic. Does it agree with your data on thermal conductivity? Uh, no, actually they are about the same mass. They look like uh, barium phosphorus is a little bit less than us. Well, I think I understood you that uh, the anisotropy is similar in uh, phosphorus dot and potassium dot, but, but now I see that it's not the yeah, other. Uh, phosphorus, phosphorus is a little bit less than us. But uh, I, 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 but here I saw that uh, there is no anisotropy at all, it is completely isotropic. You are talking, please clarify what anisotropy you are talking about, sir. I mean resistivity, C axis resistivity and AP plane resistivity. Okay. So, uh, AP plane versus C axis depends heavily on what temperature you are talking about. Because they have different temperature dependence. So, if I am talking about room temperature resistivity, in cobalt this is about 5, in potassium this is about 6, 7, in phosphorus this is about 6. It's more or less follow the same, same graph. So can you speculate on this cobalt? Why it's so different than this in C direction? Then? Because we observed exactly the same in 11 uh, Speculation is, okay, what, what can Consider possibility. One is trivial. I am excited over some, between some bands in the band structure which exists and then I am having higher characters. This is trivial. Another speculation which is suggested by this evolution of the cobalt top resistivity, uh, which is uh, showed this line, which is practically linear, it may suggest that there is some tricky order parameter which is. Also, most likely magnetic or whatever way, which is coexisting and fighting or whatever. This is the way how pseudo get is treated, for example. In the so you may have some different order parameter, which it's not built up the order parameter, but you still have some relation. Yeah. In this case, phase separation. Did you check all your samples? Uh, yes. Barium uh, potassium. This is the most important case because. There were clearly phase separation reports in early samples when they were grown from thin. So this, this is without any doubt. These samples, we checked them uh, with WDS and uh, quite systematically. And uh, it looks like uh, within the whole sample area, which is like 40 different probe points, we have spread of composition, which is 0.3%. Second, there is a uh, Structural transition feature in resistivity, and it is quite short. In superconducting condition, it's quite short. So that's why we see quite smooth variation of all these things with local. That's the only thing I can say. We don't have any really local probe. But um, have some data from you on the same barges? Yeah, so to, because Christian Berkner, for instance, he measured on, on also on. on uh, how big crystals is there anyway? Because these are measurements which are done in basically 0.2 by 0.2 by 10 micrometer pieces. There is macroscopic inhomogeneity because of potassium distribution. And finally, could you see some shift of TC between C and in plane? No, it's exactly the same. Yeah. 